Tender vengeance on turntables. Gordon and Ferdinand both missed Percy because he, he left the yard to run his branch line. But this morning they had to they had to be unlazy and fetch their own coaches to make him think how much it's it's unfair. And then, however, while they were pulling while the big engines were were fetching their own coaches, they were so annoyed. They were so annoyed what they still have to do. We get no rest, they got we get no rest, they, we get no rest, they all said. You're lazy and slack, you're lazy and slack, sang the coaches. But the engines were feeling really annoyed about this. But one day, however, there was a turntable. There was a turntable. But one day, however, there was a there was a posh turntable at the yards, and it there was a posh turntable at the yards, and engines like and tender engines like Ferdinand need need a turntable because it is dangerous for them to go backwards. Saddle tank engines like Percy the green egg, the small green engine doesn't need to go doesn't need a turntable. He can go backwards and forwards whatever he wants along the branch line. And he does. At the very next day Ferdinand was talking to Percy about how much he doesn't like how much he doesn't like him being gone on his branch line. Well, he said, well, he said, you must understand, little Percy, he said, that I, because I too, that once fought as you do, because I really wish you're back on your branch line, and tender engines like me doesn't need to shunt. It's just not the way to achieve it. Of course it doesn't, said Percy, and guess what will? Ferdinand didn't say a word. The guard blew his whistle and the two engines were out. Later, Ferdinand was going backwards because he had to go on the turntable. His driver put him on and was ready at last. But but suddenly a wind from but but suddenly the wind from a from a seaside beach that that drives the waves around but has already jammed the turntable and from now on Ferdinand was going backwards and forwards and he couldn't stop at all. And then he couldn't stop at the wrong direction and so wouldn't his driver as well. But his driver tried to turn the handle but Ferdinand was still go going backwards and forwards and just then they stopped for a moment. From now on, said his driver, your tender upsets the balance. If you were a nice posh tank engine, you'll be all right. Ferdinand didn't know what he meant. Never mind, said his driver. We'll have to, we'll have to get, we, you have to shunt coaches and pull them backwards, he said. Ferdinand didn't like this at all. Later he was pulling coaches backwards, and then there he was, looking disgraceful. Look! Look, said Bert, nerd to Mavis, the young engines. There's the new tank engine. Oh, said Mavis, it's only Ferdinand. And it was. Come on! So, Ferdinand, said Percy, playing tank engine, aren't you? Come on, scrap your tender and have a nice bunker. Then there was Molly coming along. Whatever you, whatever you do, said Ferdinand, don't be saying a word. Oh, dearie me, said Molly. I don't know what you want to say. I'm not that fat as you, she said, and chuffed away all on her own. And was ready to test herself on the turntable. Her driver turned the handle and was ready in time. I'm a splendid engine, said Molly. But something was happening to her. But something was happening to her. Molly couldn't stop and she couldn't. And there, however, was Ferdinand at a siding ready to watch the show. The wind was blowing the turntable around and around, and then Molly was spinning around like a top. She couldn't stop. 
Then the turntable stopped. It's Molly Dizzy. Well then, said Ferdinand, that serves you right for calling me fat, he said. And Molly puffed snookily away. She felt really dizzy as she and from now on she chuffed into a siding, thinking how diz how silly that turntable was. And then she wasn't enjoying this at all. Blood blood do, 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 do. Later that night La later that night the three engines had some had some more plan B's and felt stressed and angry for what happened to happened today and tonight. Or oh, that or oh, said Ferdinand, I didn't like this at all. Me neither, said Molly. You're right there, said Gordon. Let me in interrupt, said Ferdinand. Then he told some two stories. It's not fair what happened to me. It's not fair what happened to the both of us, he said. I had to, I was going backwards and forwards on a turntable uh, and had to pull Good's train backwards, he said, and Molly spins round like a top and anyone laughs at us, and to answer that, the fat controller makes us jump in dirty sidings. Ugh! He whispered something to the others. Yes, they said, we'll, yes, they said, we'll do it tomorrow, the fat controller will be silly. The engines decided to go on strike. 